This video is kindly brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to Rosary Apparel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable fabric bows. I am completely in love with this project because A, not only are they super quick and easy to make, making them a perfect beginner's sewing project, but B, they are also super nostalgic to me because I was learning how to sew when bows were last a massive trend. Um, I'm talking about like the 2008 hair bow trend. And so I made so many of those bows at that time. So I thought I would share my tried and true method on how to make the perfect fabric bow. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it and let me show you how to make a bow just like this one. First things first, you will need to download my free bow template that you can find a link to in the description of this video. One of the many things I love about this project is that it only has three template pieces, making it a super easy and quick project to make. With the main body of the bow and the tie template pieces placed onto the fold of your fabric, cut out the template pieces in your fabric. You can use any type of fabric for this project, but the heavier weight your fabric, the more structure your finished bow will have. For my bow, I'm just using some mid-weight cotton fabric. Once your pieces are cut, they should look like this. With the right sides of the fabric facing, start by folding the main body and the tie pieces in half lengthways. Then stitch them together, making sure to leave an opening at the center of the tie to be able to turn it right side out like this. Trim away the excess fabric. And then turn both pieces right side out. The tie piece is a little bit fiddly to turn right side out, so I recommend using something like a dull knitting needle to push the points out. Next, press the pieces flat with an iron and make sure to press the main body rectangle in a way so that the seam is at the center, which once pressed will look like this. Next, with the seam facing out, which for some reason I have not shown here, fold the main body rectangle in half and stitch the shorter ends together like this. Then turn the rectangle right side out so that the new seam is on the inside. Next, take the small square center piece that we cut out earlier and fold two of the opposite ends in by about one centimeter or half an inch. Then with the right sides of the fabric facing, fold the square in half the other way and stitch it in place like this. Snip away the excess fabric and then turn this tiny rectangle tube right side out. Press it so that the seam is in the center like this. And so now we have all of the parts to actually make up the bow. But before we do that, let's just take a quick break to talk about the sponsor of this video. This video has been very kindly sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and launch your passion project. Whether you'd like to start making and selling your own products, create a beautiful portfolio to showcase your work, write a blog, or simply create any website of any kind, you can design and create your dream website all by yourself with Squarespace. You simply select from their range of beautifully designed templates, and once you've chosen your template, you can then change it up as much or as little as you like. You can change everything 
everything from the overall layout of the website to all the fun things like the fonts and colors with just a few clicks, no background or knowledge needed in coding whatsoever. I have personally been using Squarespace to run the Rosary Apparel website and online store since 2016. And I honestly could not be happier with the platform. Not only does Squarespace make running a website so stress-free and easy, I was literally able to create my whole website in just an afternoon. And as someone who's been running my online store on Squarespace for over eight years now, I can say without a doubt that Squarespace have thought of everything to make sure that your customers have an incredible user experience. Checkout is seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment options. You can accept credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, and even in some countries, you can also accept Afterpay, which is amazing as your customers are therefore able to have so many different options for payment. So if you like to create a website of your own then make sure you head to squarespace.com using the link in the description below and take advantage of their free trial so you can test out just how easy it is to use for yourself and once you're ready to launch your beautiful new website head to squarespace.com slash rosary apparel for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain thank you so much squarespace for being such an amazing supporter of this channel and let's get back into the tutorial now to actually make up this bow Start by taking the tie piece and fold it into a point at the center like this. Then take the main body rectangle and fold it in half and then match and fold the edges into the center fold, which once pinched together in the center should create a bow shape. To attach the bow to the ties, take some thread that matches the color of your fabric. and then wind the thread around the two pieces to join them together. Then lastly, take the center piece and place it around the thread where the two pieces are joined together. Then again, using a matching thread, stitch the folded edges of the centerpiece together at the back of the bow. And your adorable fabric bow is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're now inspired to have a go at making some of these adorable fabric bows. You can make these fabric bows into whatever you like, but I actually like to stitch a little clip or a hairband at the back to be able to make it into a hair accessory like I'm wearing in my hair today. If you do have a go at this project, then I would love to see it. So please feel free to tag me at Rosary Apparel when you share your photos on Instagram so I can see them. And if you did enjoy this video, it would really mean a lot to me if you could give it a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more sewing type videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching this video until the very end and I'll see you in the next one.